Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at some really weird beds. I'm pretty sure everyone has a normal bed, but for some reason people want weird beds. So yeah, we're going to have a look at a load of beds that shouldn't exist. Before this video starts, remember to subscribe and yeah, let's have a look at some weird beds. Oh my gosh, what in the world is this? This is the worst bed I've ever seen. Is that meant to be a burger? It literally looks like a really cheap bed. Like you could not sleep in that. It's a circular bed as well. Like what are you meant to do? Are you meant to lie where the cheese is? Is the top bun gonna be on top of you? Okay, so apparently this is how you're meant to sleep in it. Absolutely not. That is how you're gonna suffocate. Is this person in a balloon? How is this sleepable? I think you're meant to stand up. Yeah, this is called a vertical bed. I would not be able to do that. Like, I couldn't sleep standing up. I don't know why, but I find it so hard to sleep at night. If I'm not lying in the same position for at least an hour, then I'm not gonna be able to sleep. And when I do actually end up sleeping, I'm not gonna wake up for about 12 hours. But like imagine if you're lying in that and it pops. That is how you're gonna blow your eardrums. Oh surely this has to be a joke. This apparently is a cardboard bed. That is not real. Like there's no way somebody actually sleeps in that. Would it not fall apart? Like cardboard isn't that strong. You can literally see all the wee pieces of cardboard right there. So you're telling me somebody folds that up, puts a mattress onto it and then falls asleep. Absolutely not. It would not be able to hold my body weight like that would collapse. This right here is how you're gonna die. That guy's gonna have a nightmare are jolt up and then he's gonna get shot in the head by that gun. That is literally you asking for a free day. Judging by how this baby looks, it doesn't look very happy and I don't blame it. Why would you randomly have a Jaws bed? Like that baby is literally gonna be crying all night long. Look how sad it looks like a big shark is coming out and trying to eat it. And it also doesn't look like it has loads of movement. If I were a baby and I had to sleep in that, I would not be happy. Oh no, absolutely not. There is no way I would sleep in something like that. This right here is how you have an anxiety attack. This is meant to be called a safety bed. What about that is safe? Like you're literally stuck in that position. What happens if you try to roll over? Like that is literally what it's like being stuck in cement. If we lived in the Egyptian times, you know how in the pyramids they'd have like walls that would like crush you? I bet you the people who got crushed probably felt like that. Okay, this bed isn't actually that bad. Like yeah, you might feel a bit boxed in, but it actually looks pretty comfy. Like it's got wee steps there and then it's just got a big box. I'd say if you add an extra mattress, some more blankets, and some more pillows, it would actually be really comfy. Like, you could put wee fairy lights all around it as well. This is apparently a giant bird's nest bed. It says it costs $15,000. You're literally paying $15,000 to sleep in something like that. Judging by the outside, I'm gonna assume that this is somewhere in London or Europe. It looks like it's in a major city, but I can tell you right now, I would not spend that amount of money in a bed like that. Apparently, this is an inflatable bed. It was invented for people to power up. And yeah, apparently you just blow it up and then fall asleep on it. This is kind of like the balloon bed. I feel like some people would really like it, but I would definitely pop it and it would blow your eardrums out. Okay, this looks like some type of futuristic bed. This looks like something you'd see in like a really expensive hotel or like in a spaceship. Like something about that looks so cool. It looks so high tech. I love it. Okay, this actually looks like a nice bed, but I can assure you this would not be fun to sleep in. I feel like I'd wake up and have like a panic attack. Because, like, it's just got loads of shapes above your head. I feel like beds are meant to be slept in and, like, they're meant to be nice and peaceful. They're meant to be a place where you can go relax and charge yourself. But I feel like if I had a bed like that, I just wouldn't be able to relax. Okay, so this bed right here is apparently a bed bunker. What does that mean? Like, does it have, like, a bunker below it? Okay, here's another photo. And as you can see, the bed's right there. You can push it the whole way across. And it's got, like, a little storage facility there. See, these beds look like they would be really good and really, like, reliable. But I can assure you if you jumped really hard in this bed it would probably break. Whenever you were younger did you used to get shoes which had like little toys in the soles? Well basically them shoes were really good and then after like a week or two the soles would start to fall in and I feel like if you slept in this bed you'd definitely fall through. I feel like this would low-key be really comfy to sleep on. Like it looks like it just would be like a big bouncy castle. It says it's knitted and it says that you can sleep in giant threads. Actually looking at that now that is pretty big. Oh my gosh you could easily fit about 10 of him in there. How big is this bed? Like, where is this? This is definitely an American thing. Like, in America, the houses and beds and everything in everyone's house is massive. Okay, so the cardboard bed has returned. I just couldn't see somebody sleeping in that. Like, imagine if you're outside camping and it rains. The bed is literally gonna fall apart. Here's a photo of some children lying on it. I just don't understand why you would want to get a bed like that. Like, it honestly does look like it would be horrible. Like, it looks rubbish. Okay, so this sofa can turn into two bunk beds. I feel like this would be definitely 
good to have in like a holiday home or if you had like a house that you go somewhere to like relax you could buy a couple of these and then your friends could stay over and you'd all have beds but I feel like it would definitely fall apart really easily like isn't it kind of cool how that can turn into beds if you sleep in a bed like that then you're a psychopath I have absolutely no idea how somebody could sleep like that that look he looks like a mermaid doesn't it like it's got like the little tail and everything but if you can sleep in a position like that I don't want to speak to you like you're evil okay so this is meant to be a brush bed I originally thought it was a toothbrush bed because like that kind of looks like a toothbrush head would that be nice to sleep in I feel like these wee pointy bits would irritate you loads like imagine you're sleeping one of them smacks you in the face you would definitely wake up grumpy okay so apparently this is a pod bed this is like the other pod bed it looks like something you'd see in a spaceship or like a really expensive hotel like it's so futuristic I really hope that it actually looks like how it does in the photo like look at it it looks so nice and sleek and then it's got LEDs in the inside I feel like people who get anxious really easily or people who are claustrophobic wouldn't enjoy that bed okay so this is a barrel bed I mean yeah it looks nice I don't really know what to say like I'd be scared to kind of sleep in it because like that looks wooden and it doesn't look very strong it says up to two people can sleep in it so maybe you and your friend could go and have a nap in it okay so this bed is surrounded by water I don't know how you could sleep in that I don't know if it's just me but whenever I sleep I always roll about it's so bad like it's honestly the most annoying thing ever I always fall out of bed but I feel like if I slept in a bed like that I'd roll off the bed and fall into the water and then knowing me I'd probably drown but I mean if you really wanted to wake yourself up you could probably just jump out of bed go for a swim and then get on with your day is this person sleeping in water like I really do hope this is some type of an illusion is that water I can't tell it's either water or it's really silky I really hope it's not water because she's gonna drown okay so this is an ice bed I feel like you'd definitely be really cold like I feel like you'd low-key freeze this is definitely something you would see out of frozen like I can tell you Elsa definitely had a room like this in her castle I kind of want to do a video where I stay in an igloo overnight like there's just something about that is so cool but I feel like you'd be really cold because like the temperature has to be cold for the ice to sustain itself would you not get hypothermia if you slept in a place like that okay so this is a cradle bed I'm really confused like if you push that would it move imagine if you move position and that thing just started to roll off like can it roll I'm so confused I really hope it can't roll imagine you just start rolling around your house this is a clamshell bed this looks like it would be really nice to sleep in but I can tell you if that there bit right there slapped on and you got stuck it would not be fun like imagine you're just stuck there I really don't trust it like there's just something about it I don't trust I think it's just the fact that I would freak out if I got stuck in that like imagine if this lid just fell down and you got stuck like you would literally be locked in anyways guys that is the end of the video we would look at some really weird beds I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did subscribe and leave a like and I will see you all in my next video